In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to stay focused on offense in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I want to encourage you to just do me a favor and watch the entire video, and then at the end of the video, to leave a comment and let me know what is your name, just so that I can meet you, connect with you in the comments, and hopefully I can answer some of your questions or help you with anything Madden football related. All right, guys, so in the last video, we talked about how to stay focused on defense. And in this video, what I want to talk about is how, to, how do you maintain focus on offense? And here's the basic question that I seek to answer. Why, why do people deviate? Why do people deviate from their game plan? And then how can you um, maintain focus on your game plan? Those are the two basic questions that I've tried to, I'm going to try to answer here. And here's the... Here's the number one thing that I think people make the mistake of when, when they're playing offense uh, and, they're, and they're starting to deviate from their game plan. Here's, here, here it is in a nutshell. They do, they do two things. They do number one, they try to get too fancy and creative. They try to get too fancy and creative and they forget that ideas are, are um, things that haven't happened yet. And so the point is that you can have a great idea you can have a great play idea, but the problem is if you can't put it into practice, if you can't consistently execute it, as I throw an interception, that kind of sucks. That was a really good play by Jonathan Casillas. If you cannot execute it, then it's meaningless. It's not going to help you. It's not going to make you better. And that is something critical. So what ends up happening is the, the result of losing focus, and why it's so important, the result of losing focus in Madden 18 is pretty simple. Here's what happens. You throw interceptions, like I just did there. and Or you turn the ball over, or you don't execute, or whatever. You want to make it. But basically, the bottom line is, without focus, you can't score. If you can't maintain focus, you have, you'll have a difficult time consistently scoring. And I want to give you the same piece of advice that I gave you in my defensive video at first, and that is to have a measurable, attainable, and sustainable goal that you can shoot for every single play in Madden 18. And so, like on defense, my goal is to not give a touchdown up on this play right here. As long as I don't give up a touchdown on this play right here, then I am perfectly fine with whatever happens. Offensively, my guilt, my goal, even though I didn't achieve it on this last drive, and sometimes you don't achieve your goals, and sometimes that's that's a thing, but you have to have something to shoot for. I didn't achieve my goal of not throwing an interception. Okay, that's my that's my number one goal on offense is I don't want to throw an interception, and the reason I make that my goal is is really more so because I want to, as opposed to throwing a, to not throwing an interception. The other kind of goal I have is. Can I can I complete this one pass? Can I just get one completion? That's that's kind of the main metric that I shoot for. And so when you allow yourself to focus on one thing and single-mindedly just attack your goal, normally you're going to achieve it when you cut everything else out and can focus in. One of the reason that people uh, don't maintain focus though is that they get overwhelmed. A lot of times this is probably the, one of the most critical uh, areas in which people don't aren't able to do well, and this is what I think separates some of the better players in Madden from the worst players, is that the best players don't get overwhelmed. They don't get overwhelmed by the moment, by the game they're playing, by the score, by whatever it is that you know can potentially uh, overwhelm them. They just don't get overwhelmed, and it is a incredible strength, incredible asset for you as a player is to not get overwhelmed like right there he ends up getting that first down that's okay I almost had him I got I was one set up short of being able to stop him there but but the key is and here's what most people do is they come back and they say oh you just got a first down on fourth down I'm so mad now I'm gonna blitz the house and I'm gonna you know go underneath coverage and I'm gonna do all these things that I would never normally do but I'm gonna do them because I'm mad and that's really the core uh, in my opinion, the core mistake most people make in Madden is they do a lot of things out of emotion. You have to be able to remove emotion and focus in solely on the play at hand. It's a discipline. It's a practice. It's a tactic. And in my opinion, it's the most important thing that I could give you if you want to get better at Madden football is this basic piece of advice here. 
Um, so, so anyways, you got to have a single focus. Mine is to not, is to, is to do two things basically, but really one thing I want to complete the pass to my team instead of their team. Okay. Can I, can I just make a completion to my team? Can I, can I just get the ball to my team? That is the basic question that you'll see me often ask. Oh, we miss a tackle and he's going to get a touchdown. That kind of sucks. But, um, but yeah, that's the basic question that I'm going to ask every single time, okay? So then the, what I want to do is I want to talk about one other thing that you can do. But before I do that, I want to encourage you guys to, if you're looking to really take your game to the next level and be able to, to give you some more mental practices and even some schemes and eBooks, be sure to take a look at that premium membership down at the bottom in the description. It's in the description. You can check it out. But the premium membership, what basically comes with it is you can get um, – a one hour update video every single week to all of my products and schemes. Right now there's two eBooks out that we've been running and I'm gonna get ready to drop a mini scheme in there uh, from the 335 odds, something that people can really utilize. It's gonna help them out a lot and they can pair it with the scheme that we did prior. But anyways, check out that premium membership. It comes with six eBooks as well as a one hour video every week that updates uh, the basic premise of what I'm trying to do. But anyway, so the, the, the last thing and, the, and the, really the critical, if I had to put put my bread and butter on one thing that you could take away is how to stay focused. The, the first thing, again, have that goal, have that single-minded goal. What am I shooting for? What is my target? But the second thing, and more importantly, don't get overwhelmed. But finally, the third thing that I want to leave you with today is be able, be able to understand that Madden is not a one play game, but it is an every single play game, every single play. So right now I'm losing 13 to zero. If you really watch the entire game, he's gotten a couple of, of lucky touchdowns on me, in my opinion, and I just haven't executed. I've been very, very terrible in the execution realm of Madden. And, um, and we dropped a pass. But 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 anyways, two touchdowns. I get ball at half, so we'll be okay. But but anyways, what I'm trying to get you to understand here is recognizing he's made a couple big plays, and oftentimes what people do is they say, "Oh man, it's it's over." So I might as well just start running crazy blitzes, or I might as well just um, you know just start throwing the ball every single play, or whatever it is. And they what they do essentially is they use the moment as an excuse as an excuse to ignore the rules that they have set for themselves. And um, that is a huge, that's when you really have lost the game. Um, you, you, you never lose until that happens. Once you, once you abandon, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like this analogy. Once you abandon ship, you can't get back on, right? Once you abandon ship, you can't get back on. And so the basic tenant that I want to leave you with uh, and, and this is, in my opinion, the most important principle I can ever give you. Don't ever abandon ship. Okay, Don't ever abandon ship until after the game has already been played. What I mean by that and what that basic concept really is, is don't quit. Just don't quit. Don't quit on your scheme. Don't quit on your plan. Um, because here's the problem. Whenever you go into a game, you should have a plan. You should have some kind of thing that you're going to try to do. The problem with most people is that they, they quit on their plan. And if you think through it, what happens is once you quit on your plan, you can't plan anymore, right? You can't, it, now you're without a plan. And when you're without a plan, you're not going to be very good. You're just not. It's just not going to happen. Uh, I've done this for too long, and I've seen too many people try to go into games without a plan, without a set plan, and they just can't do it. Um, they just they just can't execute. They're, they're never able to be the same. And what ends up happening is they just run whatever. And it ain't going to work. Uh, I'm telling you what, Madden's a tough game, especially the better players you play, um, the tougher it becomes. But what I really want to leave you with is this, this whole whole last principle of don't quit. Because right now it's 13-0. I get ball, I go down and score here. It's seven or eight or six or whatever to 13. I'm down one possession. I get a stop on defense, and I'm right back in the game. I'm probably winning the game, right? 
But what most people look at, oh, you're down 14-0, you haven't scored, your offense has been terrible, your defense has given up two lucky touchdowns. And what you have to do is, is you have to stay focused. And the basic way to do that is to continue to stay focused on that single goal. And again, the biggest thing that I can give you, the biggest thing that has always derailed me in the past and as I've seen has derailed several other people, you don't quit. Okay, You just don't abandon ship until after the game's over. Run your plan. Run your plan. Run your plan. So I want to leave you guys with that. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by and staying for the whole video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment with your name. And if you're interested in taking your game really to the next level and getting all my products and eBooks, I highly, highly recommend the premium membership. It's the best product that I have put out ever, and it can really, really help you take your game to the next level. There's so many things, so much content in there. There's going to be, um, we still have four eBooks coming. So I'm really, really excited to see um, to, to just see the result, to see the fruit of that guide. Um, the first ebook update just went out. So if you guys have it, you should check your email. And we're getting ready to send out another one this week um, that's going to be talking about the Nickel 335 defense. You can get a sneak peek by that by looking up Cody Ballard, uh, Nickel 335 Madden 18. And that video will pop right up in the search box. So you can check all that stuff out, guys. But what I really want to leave you with, again, last tip, last thing, and it's always going to be the most important thing, is to never, never quit on your game. Never quit on your game plan. Stick to it. 